praise God, praise God. You are welcome to Jehovah TV. I won't waste time at all. This is Pastor's Corner. Um, and it's on your channel of salvation, your heaven embassy. When it get when it gets to the word, I, I get uh, super excited because the word is my life. And when I also get to men of substance, you know, uh, men of God. On and to position ourselves in the spirit, to possess our inheritance in Christ Jesus. It's time to receive strength in our inner man, to dominate and take over in 2019. I, I trust you are doing well. We were trying to see if we are on indeed um, because of a few challenges here. But this is Pastor's Corner. My name is Benjamin A.B. Amwakum. And um, today I have um, Prophet Joseph Asamwa here with us. Last week it was an amazing time, and today we are, we are grateful he's going to share time with us again. If you can remember, last week um, we, we spoke about changing the face of your life, and some, some dangerous truths came our way. Um, and uh, today, too, he, he tells me you're going to hear another truth regarding God's word. And so stay tuned with us and... Prophet Joseph Asamoa is here. Man of God, welcome. Thank you. Your journey was, was, was a long one, but for the sake of the gospel, we have to be here. How, how was your weekend? By his grace. This grace thing there. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody I ask, how is ministry, how are they doing? They go like grace. Man of God will share gospel with us, and then we'll come to discuss in, in the studio. Good morning once again. It, it's a joy to come on you. Few get answers. Why? And today we want to consider those factors that hinders something from the Lord. But at the end of the day, it seems we don't get it because the Bible tells us we want to fulfill our own desires. Mm. So um, we want to talk about those uh, factors that hinders prayer. But there are three things that I would like you to note. There are three things that I would like you to note. Number one, God is the respecter of his principles, mm. not the respecter of persons. God is the respecter of his principles, not the respecter of persons. So the answer to prayer is not based on who you are. It's not based on who you are, whether you are a prophet, whether you are a pastor, an evangelist, or an apostle. God is the respecter of his principles, not the respecter of persons. So if God is not answering your prayer, you will not answer someone's prayer on your behalf, hmm. man of God. Hmm. It means that you cannot live your life anyhow, and at the end of the day, you want a prophet to pray for you. It will not work. Right. Number two, when God's principles are upheld, his products are assessed. Hmm. When God's principles are upheld, his products are assessed. If you can uphold the principles of God, are inherited by, the, by, patience. by patience. Yes, if you want to inherit the promise of God, you must also be patient hmm. with the Lord. Wow. Hallelujah. That is faith being a constant. Mm. And when we read the book of James, chapter 5, verse 11, we are told of the story of Job. The Bible mm. says that because he was patient with the Lord, God gave him mercy, or he was able to inherit the mercies of God. Right. The mercy of God is answerable to patience. Mm. Impatient mm. will lead to the abortion of expectation. Wow. Impatience. If you are not patient with the Lord, at the end of the day, you abort your blessing. You abort your expectation. So we must be patient with the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God may not do it the time we think he will do it, mm. but he's committed to do it. Right. The time that we think that, oh, as for, as for this, God must do it. He may not do it, but he's committed to do it. Hallelujah. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11, he says, in eight time, he makes all things beautiful. Right. So if the time has not come for you, you cannot force it. Mm. Just wait at the appointed time hallelujah. because at the appointed time it will surely it speak hallelujah. hallelujah let us wait on the lord 12, 12. yeah all right so where it says that um jesus then took the loaves mm. and when he had given thanks mm. he distributed them to those who were seated mm. so also the fish mm. as much as they wanted okay. verse, verse 12 and when they had eaten their fill mm. he told his disciples I, gather up there. I think I like the verse, verse 11. 11. Right. You see, Bible says he picked that few loaves of bread and, and also he, he that gave fish. Thanks. And he gave thanks. He gave thanks. There are a lot of people, we don't see the reason why we should thank God. Mm. When we go 150, verse 6, it says, let everything that has bread, praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. Right. Let everything that has bread, praise the Lord. 
you need to praise the Lord. You need to give praise to the Lord, irrespective of the circumstance or the pains you are going through. Just pause and give God a praise. Because Hallelujah. after Jesus lifted the bread and gave thanks, God multiplied it for him. Hmm. Man of God. So I believe that the more we praise God, the more God will also come and attend to us. Right. Bible says that God inhabits in the praise and worship of his people. people. So the more you praise him, the more he comes down to attend to you. So it is very, very important that we must wait and we must give praise unto the Lord. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Psalm 34, verse 1 to 3, Psalm 34, verse 1 to 3, David says something that I will praise the Lord at all times, mm. and his praise shall always be on my lips. Mm. Whether I have money or not, I will praise the Lord. Whether I have food or not, I will praise the Lord. Sometimes we just want to wait. Faith. For truly I say to you, mm. if you have faith like a grain of a mustard seed, mm. you will say to this mountain, mm. move from here to move there. Move from here to, to there. Uh, and it will move. Yes. And nothing will be impossible mm. for you. So in this season of prayer, where we are all praying to the Lord, wherever you are watching us from, we want you to have faith in the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unbelief means praying in a doubt, conviction. Mm -hmm. you, you pray, but you, you don't believe that what you are praying for will come to pass. <laughs> the one I pray, why are you praying? Why, in the are, you praying? why are you praying? Unbelief means praying without conviction. Mm. You doubted your answer before praying. Eesh. Yes. Unbelief means praying without certainty. Mm -hmm. You don't believe your prayer. But I believe that as you have faith in the Lord and as you believe in the Lord, that what you are asking for, the Lord will give you. Hallelujah. 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 2019, if you can have faith in the Lord, if you can believe in the Lord, God will answer your prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unbelief is a sign of trusting in the flesh. Wow. Yes. It means I've trusted in my flesh. And as you trust in your flesh, there is nothing you can also receive. Right. In the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 14, he says, this is the confidence that we have. Mm. This is the confidence. Man of God, in God, he will give it to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Faith in God equals answers from God. Mm. If you have faith in God, you will get answers. Wow. If you have faith in God, you will get answers. Number four. Number four is unforgiveness. Hmm. We are talking about the hindrances to the answered prayer. Number four is unforgiveness. In the book of Mark chapter 11, 25 and 26. Mark 11. Mm. The book of Mark. The book of Mark chapter, chapter 11, 11. Verse 25 and 26. Verse 25 and 26. Yes. Um, okay, so it says in verse 25, mm. and whenever you stand praying, whenever you stand praying, forgive. Forgive. If you have anything against anyone. If you have anything against anyone. So that your father also who is in heaven may so forgive So that you. your father also who is in heaven. May forgive your trespasses. Will forgive your trespasses. Verse 26. Mm. 26. Uh -huh. And whenever you stand praying, mm. forgive. Forgive. If you have anything against anyone. Mm. So that your father also who is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Amen. So Amen. unforgiveness blocks access to God. Mm. Unforgiveness. When you are standing in prayer, you are you have kept bitterness in your heart against that brother, against that sister who offended you, even in the church, who saw you and the, she did not even greet you. Mm. You have kept bitterness in you. There is no way your prayer will be answered. Wow. Yes, it says when you stand in prayer, forgive. Forgive. Unforgiveness block access mm. with God. With God. So yes. I mean, how many are you left with? Two. Two. Okay, so let's run quickly and then mm. yeah. we have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you harbor bitterness in you, mm. you cannot assess the product of God. You cannot assess the blessings of God. Right. Yes, and the last, uh, the last two, the fifth one is compromising. Compromising. Yeah, compromising. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1 to 2. Mm. Isaiah 59, mm. verse 1 to 2. Verse 1 to 2. Yeah. All right, so... Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened. The Lord's hand is not shortened. That it cannot save. Mm -hmm. Or his, he his ear dull that it cannot hear. But because of your sins. But your iniquities, your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God. You see, so, and yes, and you want to be the same. You want to be the same. We have missed the, 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 the worldly things, even with the things that we are doing in the church. Mm. We are serving God in our own ways. 
we are doing it according to our own standard. But I believe that if we can take iniquity out of our lives mm. and if we can walk according to the ways of God, we'll be able to receive the blessings of God. The blessings of God. Hallelujah. 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 Check the way you live your life because you cannot mock God. Mm. Uprightness of character equals the blessings of God. Uprightness of character. The last one is selfishness. Because selfishness. Of yeah. Hmm. Well. James uh, chapter 4 verse 3. Okay, so the book of James, yeah. chapter 4, verse 3. Verse three. Okay, James 4. Already take, uh, yeah. Okay, already, all right. Yeah, so you, you ask and do not receive. You ask and you do not receive. Because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. Because you want to spend it on, on your, your own passions. passions. You want to satisfy your own lust. You want to satisfy your own desires. When you stand in prayer, you have to be a kingdom-minded person. Think about the kingdom advancement. Think about the kingdom enlargement. Oh, Mighty chapter 6, verse 33. I said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all other things shall be added unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, mm. and all other things shall, shall be, be added, added unto you. you. So if you think about the things of God, at the end of the day, you will be able to receive the blessings of God people and we appreciate your time sir so our regards to upper room assembly of god members tell them we love them so much and then we will storm their place very soon right so we'll end here let's go into the tournament and go and pray right you see us all on tv praying god bless you um see you again god bless you Position ourselves in the spirit to possess our inheritance in Christ Jesus. It's time to receive strength.